so welcome back into Webbers. Um, I just want to, before we start, um, bring you something that's sponsored by me. <laughs> no, this video is not sponsored. I'm not that big. Um, so I just want to take you through something that slightly concerns me at the moment, something that, that's baffling me slightly. But um, let's go inside and I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, uh, this is the YouTube studio. And what it gives you is basically, um, well, it's a lot of information to be honest. It gives you all the videos you've produced and some analytics on it as well. So um, if I go for, let's look at views. Um, we'll pick, we'll pick a video that uh, has got some of the highest views. It's correlated. So okay, we've got the running costs of the S3 just there, and I'll uh, I'll click on there. And what I'm going to do now is go to uh, analytics. And if we go to audience, okay, this gives you a breakdown basically of when people have viewed it um, and uh, their geographic locations and many other things as well. But if you look here, look, that's the most important thing. So 98%, almost 99% who have watched this video have not subscribed. Only 1% or just over 1% have subscribed. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit confused. Obviously, people like the content um, because it's had plenty of views. Um, but it continues to get plenty of views as well, look. But, yeah, nobody's subscribing. Now, I know some of my videos can be boring. but um, And I know, you know, not not everybody wants to see every video I do. It is very random. You know, there's all sorts of stuff in there. It's not just one subject. Um, but, yeah, I'm a little confused. So, yeah, please like subscribe it all helps the channel it helps me and it makes it all worthwhile to be honest when you see your subscriber count go up it's a nice feeling and there you go ladies and gentlemen that's what uh, 35 pound 90 buys you but the good thing is it should have been there you go 91 pound 95 i like gsf okay back on it then um, so I'm not going to film much of this because it's obviously just a reversal of taking it apart and that'd be really boring, more boring than uh, most of my normal videos. So uh, yeah, there's a few bits and bobs going to go back on. Um, most of it's sitting down there, <laughs> ready and waiting. Uh, pipes, panels, bits and bobs. So I will get the sensor in and um, probably give it a quick start. It will run terrible. Uh, because obviously I got the MAF on, I've not got all the intercooler pipes on, so it's not going to run good. But it will give me an indication that uh, that that uh, new part is actually working properly. So um, let's get it on and see where we go from there. So I've got it in the hole, but the slightly tricky bit is actually getting it seated. So I think a pry bar is needed for this bit. And there you go, with a little bit of gentle persuasion. The seal is inside the block. Okay, so it's back in and it's connected. And like I say, what I want to do now is just start it up and make sure that it does start okay. Um, but it is going to sound rough, it really is. Hold on. Right. <laughs> Be prepared for warning lights and noises and all sorts. Well, she starts. Good enough for me. Okay, quick update. The ink cooler pipe is on. Brackets all back on there. Just got to put the uh, blow off valve on there, or um, recirculating valve, or whatever you want to call it. And, and then put the cover on with the obviously the inbuilt uh, induction system. And then we should be ready to go. Right, let's crack on. And again, this is where these pliers come into their own. There you go. Squeeze that, and then just. Pop it on there. Oop. How easy is that? How many times have you bruised your fingers messing about with these? There you go. That is so easy. Almost there. Uh, recirculating valve, diverter valve, blow off valve, whatever you want to call it. All back in place. All secure. Clips on. No broken fingers. Um, so just the uh, the cover to go back on, and then we'll give it a start and uh, yeah, see if I fix the problem. And there you go. Back on the ground. Bonnet it down. Will she start? Of course she'll start. So there are the proof 
is in the driving bay. And that will come later. And of course the obligatory uh, <laughs> faults until I start driving. Uh, let's go back a bit because I need to set the chocks out of the wheels. There you go. And we'll have a drive in a minute and that ESP will go away. Well I have to say it does seem a lot smoother and quieter. See, it does rev out. Here we go. 